have high blood sugar then you probably already know that one of the things you can do to help manage the condition is exercise, right? Your doctor has hopefully already gone through that with you. And this isn't news to us at this point. We know exercise is very good for our health. And if you're familiar with the channel, I do say that a lot. But today we're gonna be a little bit more specific because the big reason that exercise can help reduce blood sugar is because it increases the amount of muscle mass that you have. And having more muscle mass is what can help reduce your blood sugar. This is something that has been found in many research studies. So today I want to explain this a bit more because I ran into it through my studies and I found it very interesting So I thought I'd share what I've learned and I'll be going through the four main ways that Having more muscle mass can help reduce your blood sugar. So let's go So the first way that having more muscle mass can help reduce blood sugar is by increasing glucose uptake. So what this means is that more glucose can move out of your blood and into your muscles, which is good because the issue with type 2 diabetes is that there is too much sugar in your blood. Now, muscles are actually known as glucose sinks. And that is because muscle cells are the main cells that use glucose. So you have muscle cells all over your body. Don't just picture a bodybuilder here with huge muscles. Whether you're a huge bodybuilder or not, you have muscle cells and they're all over your body. They all use glucose as their main form of energy. So that means that the more muscle you have, then you have a bigger sink to drain your blood sugar into, which means that it moves out of your blood and into your muscle cells, which is the goal. We don't want glucose in the blood. We want it to move into places where we can use it for energy. And the good thing with muscle cells is that not only does it need glucose for energy, but even when it doesn't need the energy, it stores that glucose, it keeps it as glycogen, and it saves it for another time when there may not be glucose readily available in the blood, but it is needing some energy. So you can see here that if you increase the amount of muscle mass that you have, then you'll be using up more glucose from the blood. You'll be moving more glucose into those muscle cells for energy and for storage. Now, the second thing that having more muscle mass can do is increase your insulin sensitivity. Now, insulin sensitivity essentially means how well your cells respond to insulin. I have gone more in depth on how insulin works in the past, so a link to that video is going to appear on the screen somewhere on the top. But think of insulin as a key. I've just talked to you about how muscle cells will bring in glucose for energy, but glucose doesn't just move into your cells as it pleases. There are transport proteins that it moves through, and these proteins, they will only open and allow glucose into the cell when insulin binds to them. So insulin sensitivity then is how well your muscle cells will react to insulin and allow glucose inside. And the issue when you have type 2 diabetes is you have poor insulin sensitivity. Your cells, they no longer respond as well to insulin. And so glucose moves in less and less until eventually your blood sugar rises to dangerous levels. So we want to increase the insulin sensitivity if we can. And the really good news here is that increasing muscle mass can not only make insulin receptors on these transport proteins respond more, they can actually increase the number of receptors. So what this means is that there are more places for insulin to actually bind and open up these proteins to allow the glucose to move into the cells. Now, number three on this list is having more muscle mass can actually increase your resting metabolic rate. This is one of the more well-known benefits of increasing muscle mass. Um, it's a reason that people encourage lifting weights for weight loss because increasing your resting metabolic rate, that can help with weight loss too. And the reason it can do this is because muscle requires more energy to maintain it. If you are building muscle and doing exercise, even after your exercise is finished, your body spends energy repairing, building and maintaining that muscle. And it does all of this even while you feel like you might be relaxing. So your resting metabolic rate, this is the energy that you burn at rest. And all of this energy that is needed to actually maintain your muscle mass 
it will use glucose to provide that energy. And this can further help with lowering blood sugar. It is all simply because muscle requires more energy to maintain compared to something like fat. Now, the last thing that I'll be talking about has less to do with glucose and more to do with fat. So if you have more muscle mass, you obviously have to do some work to get that. You need to do muscle building exercises, whether that be lifting weights or whatever it is that you choose. Now, those activities that you do, they tend to reduce the visceral fat. And it's like I keep saying, the benefits of exercise, they're endless. It's never just one thing in isolation. Benefits are felt all over the body. Now, visceral fat is the fat that is stored around your internal organs. And this fat has more negative impacts on your health. It has been linked to insulin resistance, which I've just mentioned earlier in the video. And so... If you have more muscle mass and you do the physical activity that's required to get more muscle mass, you can reduce visceral fat. And this potentially could increase your insulin sensitivity, which means that glucose, like I said before, moves into your cells easier, which means lowered blood glucose. So those are the four main ways that having more muscle mass can improve your blood sugar levels. And I'm not asking everyone to go and achieve Mr. Olympia muscles, absolutely not. Most people with type 2 diabetes, they could get these benefits by just increasing their physical activity levels a little bit. Now lifting weights is better in terms of muscle mass, but honestly, whatever you choose is going to be good and is going to be beneficial. I just want everyone to know exactly how it's going to help you and your blood sugar levels, because some people, when they have that better understanding, can find a bit more motivation to make the changes. But do not just take my word for it. I'm going to show you now a bit of research in this area because it has been well researched. This is a study from 2023, so this is just last year. Now what they did was they had over a thousand participants who weren't yet diagnosed with diabetes. They took their body composition, so they found out things like their BMI, the fat mass, their muscle mass. And then after two years, they checked back in with these people and they found that 11% of the participants had developed diabetes within that two year time frame that they left them for. And what they discovered was that the more skeletal muscle mass that someone had, the less likely they were to develop type two diabetes. And this is pretty much in line with what we already know. Now, there is also another study that looked at patients already with type two diabetes. Now, these people were a bit older. They were over 65 years old. And what they found was that the patients who had lower muscle mass, they had poorer glucose control. So their blood sugars were a bit higher. And with older patients, having a lack of muscle mass is quite a big issue because you do have that age-related decline in muscle mass that naturally happens. Now, these studies, they're both observational in nature. So you can never say that the lack of muscle mass is the cause of poor blood glucose control. But from what we know about the effect that muscle mass can have on blood sugar levels, it just makes sense that we get people to do more activity that can increase muscle mass in whatever capacity that they can. And you don't have to have type two diabetes to benefit from this. You can have normal blood sugar levels too. Having muscle mass can help keep your blood sugar levels in a healthy range for longer. So whether you don't have diabetes at all or you do have diabetes, having more muscle mass can have great benefits for your blood sugar levels. Now, that's pretty much all I have to say on this topic for now. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer. I will see you in the next video. And until then, as always, keep playing the long game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.